In this awful moment, James Ferry's life changed. In Fallujah, Iraq, grenade shrapnel tore into his head and chest. The then 20-year-old Marine nearly died. Seven years later, Sperry's still fighting, this time constant migraines and dizzy spells. He has the Iraq War's signature wound, traumatic brain injury. I lose vision in my left eye, and then like my, my dizziness is coming on right now. And if you see my eyes, they do this one. They shake nonstop. And Sunglasses ease his light sensitivity, but not his chronic pain. He has trouble thinking, talking, remembering. I go to bed, I wake up the next day, and then I wouldn't remember the day before. So you tried to get help? I went to the doctors, and and uh, one you know episode I spent 30 days in a mental hospital because I just couldn't take it. I was breaking down. But no one answered his pleas for cognitive brain rehabilitation therapy to help injured brains function. My role as the, as the chief medical officer is to make sure that our service members are getting the best care that they can get. Warren Lockett's so in charge of TRICARE, the military's health insurance. TRICARE does not cover most cognitive care, calling it not supported by reliable scientific evidence. There are pockets of, of techniques that have been demonstrated to be effective but we really can't say cognitive rehabilitation therapy is effective when it stands alone. But advocates say that policy, along with poor screening procedures, leaves nearly 400,000 vets with limited options. The vast majority of them get no meaningful treatment. It's specialized care that's hard to find, harder to fund. But here at Atlanta's Shepherd Center, a few vets do get the help they need, a very lucky few. Everybody come through here is better, tons better than what they show up. It's called the SHARE Initiative, a four-month regimen of physical and mental services, weekly recreational therapy like horse riding, designed to relax the brain and ease anxiety. So far, Shepherds treated more than 200 soldiers. Dr. Daryl Kalin runs the program. Any doubt in your mind that in places like this, it works? It absolutely works. This report by a panel of 50 brain experts convened by the Pentagon agrees and recommends TRICARE fully cover cognitive treatment. Still, Kalin says the military is unconvinced. They don't yet believe that treating somebody with thinking difficulty can make them better. And in fact, we know that it can. The real issue, money. Shepard's program costs about $50,000 per soldier. Without donations, this program would not exist. And these kids get screwed royally. Billionaire Bernie Marcus co-founded Home Depot. He got so angry by the lack of treatment, he donated nearly two million dollars to fund the Shepherd's efforts. You read about all the bridge to nowhere, my God, how we throw money away. Why not for these kids? What sort of difference do you see in yourself? Um, this first time in five years I've actually had hope for the future. It's hope vets like Sperry deserve, but thousands of them live with their private torment and a future as clouded as ever. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.